We're here at the Mequon Nature Preserve, and part of this whole process starts with tapping some of these trees. Corey, you're here. You're going to show me a little bit about how this works. Uh, walk yeah. me through some of the process. Yeah. So first of all, we're gonna we may need to make sure we get the right tree, right? right yeah. um, this is a sugar maple. This is on the north end of our property. We have a large sugar maple grove here in Elton's Woods. Yeah. And uh, this is a, a good access place for us to uh, tap the trees. We have a trail going through here already. Mm -hmm. So um, we've, we've already selected our tree here. This tree's been tapped for numerous years, but we're always trying to find a new location so we're not drilling in the same, same hole, spot. Yep. same spot again. So we, I think we found our, our location here. Yeah. It's also on the south side of the tree which also um, the sap will start running a little bit sooner. It the warms sun. up with yep. the sun. Absolutely. So, um, uh, okay, so you got your drill here. Yep. Can I try a little bit of this? Yeah, definitely. You need me to so do? we're gonna, I think we're gonna go right about here. Okay. And first, first step is just to get it started here. And then you wanna angle it up. Um, once it's started, you can angle it up or down. Okay. Um, so the sap flows a little bit more, but, and we want to go in about an inch and a half. So about to this tape. black okay. tape. So can I give it a shot? Yeah, oh, I think definitely. I can hold on to this. Let me switch yeah. sides here. Uh, they don't let me use power tools back at the station. So, <laughs> so I'm pretty excited here. I get to have a little Great. bit of fun. Okay. So a little bit farther, all the way yep. in, keep it going right, right about, about there. there. Okay. Then we'll, then we'll hit the reverse on this I'll drill let you, bit. I'll let you do that, yep. And it comes out nice and clean. Corey, you're a lot better at that. Than you. <laughs> You've been doing this for a little while? It, well, yeah, this is my fourth season here doing okay. this, but we've been doing this for eight years here at the Mequon Nature Preserve. Okay, so. we've got to finish this yep. product off. So, we've got to finish the product. So, got, got our, the bucket. Our bucket here, and we use square buckets because they sit up against the tree a lot nicer, that's which is always you, nice. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, why, we have a, that's why you get all the sap. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, unfortunately, today it's not quite warm enough. So, you're telling me. Yeah, a lot of times. As soon as we drill the hole, there'll yeah. be sap running out. So yeah. unfortunately, it's not quite as exciting. Still but frozen. Yeah. So, so you stick the tap in there. Yeah. So this part. is a spile. Yep. So we put it in. We get in there snug as, as much as we can, and then we grab a hatchet or oh, a little easy hammer. Now, yeah, okay. easy. Um, and just give it a good tap okay. so it stays in there. Um, and then put our bucket on the hook. Hang it on there. And uh, the process, yeah, yeah the on. other little step we do is we put a clip on here especially on a windy day like today yeah it helps sure it keep the anywhere. bucket on there no it makes sense i'll let you wrap that up Corey. but uh pretty cool process here that'll slowly start to drip as temperatures get warmer so it's important to have it in place early reporting from mequon chris Fine, wisn 12 news